Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be uh, doing a little demonstration on how to tie a foam popper or at least get the popper body ready for however you want to dress it. I'm um, using just a couple tools to make a cutter and some flip flop foam. Flip -flop foam. Anyway, to get started, um, all you need is an aluminum arrow shaft. This one's a 2216, it has to be aluminum because you're going to be using it to cut with. Um, fun little fact, the 2216, the first two numbers are the um, diameter of the entire shaft and 60 fourths of an inch. So 2264, it's uh, 11 30 seconds of an inch. And the second number, 16, is the wall thickness of the tubing in thousandths of an inch. So I don't think that really matters because the way we're going to be cutting this, I don't think that thousandths of an inch are really going to count. Anyway, um, some other tools that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a little tubing cutter, something like this. Uh, you can also use a hacksaw or, well, anything you can to make a clean cut on there. Um, you're also going to need a metal file. I have a full size one here. Uh, you can also use one that's on like a Leatherman or a multi-tool of some sort. Sorry about all the pitter-patter. That's the uh, little lady Lily running around. And, uh... To make this job a whole lot easier, uh, an electric drill. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to get your tubing in there. It doesn't have to be really long. In fact, the shorter, I want to go shorter than like two inches, but the shorter the better. First one I made was like six inches, and then I found that I didn't have anything to poke the foam plugs out with. So uh, pretty much what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and use the cutter to make yourself a little piece of arrow just like that just a little tube um, if you're not into bow hunting or anything or you just don't use aluminum or anything like that uh, you can go to Walmart and I think you can buy pretty much all these tools plus an arrow shaft that'll make you hunt or not hunters uh, like 10 tools for like less than 10 bucks um, once you get the uh, little piece cut what I like to do you can do this by hand but it takes a while and this is just easier. So what you want to do now, you take the file and you got your little piece stuck in the drill chuck and you just want to put a bevel on there. And there you go. Clean up any burrs on the inside, and um, once you do this, just be careful because that is now pretty much razor sharp if you did it right. So that's your tool, and you will need the drill to cut. I've tried just pushing through the foam, and it doesn't work. It makes it a funky shape. So there's that. All right, now the fun part: get your flip flop foam. Flip flop foam. Blah, blah. Um, this one's teal. Um, you can go to the dollar store and get them for like 50 cents a pair. Uh, make sure you get the extra large or just for like size 12 foot because you can just, you know, make more for the same price. Um, I have black flip flops, uh, pink ones, green ones, all kinds of colors. Every time I see something new, I go ahead and get one just because they're so dirt cheap. So what you want to do is you want to take your tool. Make sure it's nice and centered in the chuck. And now um, this is kind of a trial and error thing. But I find that the less pressure, downward pressure you put on it, the cleaner the cut will be. Um, if you sharpen it up well, then it does not take much pressure at all to cut it. So all you want to do is just kind of line it up vertically. And it cuts, let's see if you can see that, a perfect hole right in the foam. Now you just back it out. And, oh, forgot my tool. Hang on a sec. Mine's just a little brass rod, and then you just pop your piece of foam out, and there you go. That's the basis of your foam popper. You can trim it to whatever length you like. Um, the bigger you leave it, the uh, the more flotation it has, obviously, but that's about it. Um, when it comes to tying it, let's see if I can get something set up here real quick. 
Uh, you can you can kind of do this in any manner that you want. Uh, I've seen poppers dressed in all different kind of ways, and whatever works best for you or whatever you like, then more power to you. I get you a bit closer in here. Mmm, fun. All right, cool. Now what you want to do, uh, not stab yourself, but you want to take your bodkin and you want to poke a hole right through the middle. Well, not through the middle, down the length of it. I try and make mine a little bit offset. You can kind of see there that it's coming through the bottom. And once you get that done, you go ahead and put a hook in the vise. Um, I'm using size 10 uh, streamer hooks for these. Um, if you just go to Walmart, again, you can just get some Eagle Claw Aberdeen hooks and let's say like size 8. If you can find them, it would be a pretty good size. But if you're on a budget, that's definitely the way to go. So get your hook in there. Hopefully you'll be able to see this pretty well. Um, just go ahead. And what you're doing right now is you're giving a place for the super glue that we're going to apply that I don't have any of right now, a place to adhere. So you just want to build up a little bit of a foam body or thread body, leaving some space on the back for you to tie in tails and hackles or whatever else you desire. And then let's see here. What you want to do, I guess at this point you just tie this off. You don't really need the thread actually on there. Just for all kinds of stuff. That'll work. So all you have to do now is now that there's a hole pre-poked in there, you can just take the eye of the hook, slide it over. Um, this is the order that I prefer to do it in because sometimes the popper I that one tore, but that's alright. Sometimes a popper can give you a little bit of trouble sliding it on there. And if you already have super glue on there, making it permanent, it is, well, you can go through a couple foam bodies before you get one right. And I messed this one up. That's all right. So what you want to do is you want to pull the foam popper all the way back. Ideally, it would be sitting down here, but I broke mine. That's fine. And then you just put a little bit of super glue right on your thread wraps. And in one quick motion, you just slide it forward to exactly where you want it. And the super glue is going to set pretty quick, so that's why I recommend already having it on the shank of the hook before you uh, even put the super glue on there. And uh, there you go. You can start your thread again, and you can tie in hackles in the back. You can use little rubber legs or whatever uh, whatever your favorite thing is. Um, this is kind of what I've come up with as a solution to uh, replacing Bet's poppers. Um, I'm tremendously uh, successful with the bats poppers but they get expensive after a while especially when you lose them to all the mountain laurels here in Virginia so um that's that's pretty much my little tutorial uh, it's really simple to uh, get these things going you can cut a whole bunch of foam bodies of all different colors and I would say shapes but you'd have to make some more tools and uh, you can just sit down and tie whatever you want um, also on a second note I found that the arrow shafts do work extremely better or good or whatever than a thicker wall material such as copper pipe. I tried the, uh, it was actually a piece of aluminum pipe that had like maybe a 16th or a 30 seconds, 30 second of an inch wall. Lily, do you want to be in the video? No, she doesn't. And uh, it just didn't work out. So an arrow shaft. You can get these dirt cheap, um, a file, tubing cutter, drill, and you can be on your way to making thousands of poppers for a lot cheaper. Well, have a nice one. Tight lines.